How do you know if your rhodonite is real or not? My name is Sheila from Satin Crystals, and I thank you for subscribing to the Satin Crystals channel and educating yourself about real versus fake gemstones. Today, we are going to discuss real rhodonite versus fakes. We're also going to discuss rhodonite versus rhodochrosite and rhodonite versus other similar looking stones that it can be confused with. So stay tuned to the end. I'll show you examples. If you have already seen the rhodonite meaning video, you know that rhodonite is a manganese silicate and it gets its pink color from the manganese, but it also gets its black color from manganese. So this piece here is a very typical rhodonite stone that you'll see on the market these days. In this case, it is very distinct from other stones because it has that nice pink color and it has the black veins. It is the other formations of rhodonite like this one here that can easily get confused with other stones. And we did also show you some examples of, or all the different types of rhodonite in that meanings video. So if you haven't yet, make sure to go watch that. Luckily for us, rhodonite is, in its natural form, is usually not treated and it is not dyed. However, scientists have created a synthetic rhodonite for their research purposes, which has unfortunately leaked into the gemstone market. So if you look up online synthetic rhodonite, you will find some listings for rhodonite beads that is titled synthetic rhodonite. And we don't know what this means exactly. We don't know if it is a synthetic rhodonite from the laboratory where they created it similar to the formula of rhodonite, or is it a plastic? Is it resin? Is it a colored glass? So in this case, this is why we want to figure out what is real rhodonite and what is fake. I'm going to give you some tips here. Rhodonite is a 5.5 to a 6.5 on the Mohs scale of hardness. The scale is from 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest. Quartz, which I have here, this is actually a citrine quartz. This is a seven on the Mohs scale of hardness. So quartz will be able to scratch rhodonite. Rhodonite will not be able to scratch the quartz. So if you have any harder material, material than rhodonite, you can test on the rhodonite to make sure that it's scratching. You do want to be mindful though, because sometimes when the rhodonite is polished, it's a little bit harder to scratch and Sometimes rhodonite is forming with other stones, sometimes even quartz. So if you try to scratch quartz on quartz, it may not scratch and you might get very confused, which is why none of these tests are conclusive in themselves, but it will give you an idea. This scratch test is, is best um, done when you have a rough piece rather than polished pieces or pieces that are growing in other stones. Here I have a glass beaded necklace. To the untrained eye, vendors may be able to tell you that this is rhodonite and you may just believe them. To the trained eye, of course, this is not rhodonite. It is just too perfect. It doesn't have any inclusions. If you look within with a microscope, you might even see air bubbles. And air bubbles is a clear indication that it is a glass rather than rhodonite a natural stone. It is also much warmer than other beads. So usually natural stones have a very cool, they're cool to the touch and they take a while to warm up to absorb the warmth in your hand. This is very warm to begin with. So glass is a little bit warmer than the gemstones. Plastic is even warmer than all of those materials so plastic or resins will warm up really fast so that's an indication as well a little bit subjective but it could get the job done real rhodonite will have inclusions it'll have all kinds of little imperfections that we love from mother nature now this piece is pretty pink but if you look closely you will see there is a tiny 
bit of the black manganese and it has all kinds of patterns and things going on that are not uniform. It's not dyed. So it's not just one solid color. This is an indication of real rhodonite. Fakes will not have this. And if they do, it might be the same pattern over and over again, like a computer printout or what have you. The real rhodonite has imperfections or as we like to call them, inclusions and veins, craters, what have you. Real rhodonite can be magnetic. If you look at this piece here, you'll see that there is some pyrite inclusions and some of the black might even be magnetite, depending on what other minerals are growing with the rhodonite. So whether it's magnetite or iron or copper or aluminum, whatever you have, these are magnetic minerals. And so they will make your rhodonite magnetic. Now, this is not always the case, but if you do have a magnetic rhodonite, you could perhaps rule out plastic or other materials that are not magnetic. Real rhodonite is always pink or a brownish color, or of course the black manganese could have taken over and made it a black rhodonite. But if you are being sold any other color of rhodonite, you are getting something totally different. It's not rhodonite, it could be a fake or it could just be a totally different stone. So it has to be this pink, a brownish tone, a yellowish tone, or the black that you see. Now this of course is pieces of real rhodonite in resin, but they are real rhodonite stones. Real rhodonite always has a white or very, very pale pink streak. So this is the crystal streak test, which you can do on all gemstones. And you would streak the stone across a unglazed white tile and see what the powder residue color is. So it doesn't matter what color the stone is on the outside, the appearance of it, the powder will always show a certain color. So rhodonite, no matter how pink it is, if you streak it across that plate, it will show you a white or very, very pale pink streak. Real rhodonite has a very stable color. The pink will not fade away very quickly. Now this stone here is obviously dyed. And if you put some acetone to it, if you soak it in acetone, which is a nail polish remover, the color will start to leak out. And that is a clear indication that it is not rhodonite. It could be rhodonite that is dyed, but it is not real organic rhodonite. How do you tell rhodonite versus rhodochrosite? These two stones are often confused. And if you are doing a search online, you will see a lot of listings that are mislabeled. This is why you want to make sure you know exactly what you're buying because rhodochrosite is a much more valuable stone on the market than rhodonite. So people who are passing off rhodonite as rhodochrosite, they are deceiving you either knowingly or unwittingly. That's why we need to learn our stones. So first of all, we have rhodonite. And this rhodonite, as I said, if it's more of the black and pink, darker pink, it's easy to tell from rhodochrosite. But if it's more of this Peruvian bubblegum pink rhodonite, it's going to be harder because it has those white inclusions. And rhodochrosite is usually known for its white bands rather than the black bands. So this is why these two are confused a lot. Even in the beginning, when we first started out for satin crystals over 20 years ago, we were told by the vendor that these stones were rhodochrosite. With research, we found out that that's not the case. And still, after all of these years, people are still labeling rhodonite as rhodochrosite. One way to tell the difference between rhodochrosite and rhodonite is that rhodochrosite is a much softer stone than rhodonite. So rhodonite can scratch rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite cannot scratch rhodonite. Now, as I said before, it's best done on rough, raw pieces. And of course, it depends on what other minerals are involved in the formation of the stone. But in general, rhodochrosite, softer than rhodonite. 
Also, rhodochrosite is known for its layers. So the bands are in layers on top of each other, and they're all uniform. They kind of go in one pattern. Whereas rhodonite, even though it has the white bands that you'll see, is more haphazard, is more random. So this is a good indication that the pyramid is rhodonite and not rhodochrosite. Another indication is that rhodochrosite, when the manganese starts to oxidize, it actually makes the pink a darker pink. Let's get a little darker pink part for you. So it makes it more dark. Whereas rhodonite, when the manganese oxidizes, it makes it more black. And as you saw before, you can have a totally black rhodonite, whereas you wouldn't have black rhodochrosite. Here are two beaded bracelets. One is rhodonite and one is rhodochrosite. Can you tell the difference? The faceted one here is rhodonite. It has a little bit of a darker pink. It has some of the black manganese inclusions. It also has a little bit of the yellowish beads that rhodonite is sometimes found in. Rhodochrosite is a banded stone, as you can see, and it does have some of the darker bands, but it's more of a gray look than a black look. It also depends on what quality of rhodonite and rhodochrosite you have. So some of them are very easy to tell apart. Luckily for the gemstone market, we can tell them apart very easily in the crystal market. But if you have very high end specimens, it may be hard to tell because in that case, they can both be a very deep pinkish red, translucent in a crystal formation, and it might not have any many inclusions. In that case, you're going to have to go uh, resort to the scientific tests. So for all of these tests, you can, if they don't work out, you will want to send them into a laboratory or if you know how to do the more scientific tests on your own, like specific density and refractive index and what have you, we do have those values on the real versus fake rhodonite article at Satin Crystals. So check that out and you can determine which ones are rhodochrosite, which ones are rhodonite, which is real, which is fake. Now, one more note is that rhodochrosite is a carbonate, so it's more related to calcite and it will bubble when you put it in hydrochloric acid. Whereas rhodonite is a silicate more related to quartz, that will not bubble. So that's an easy way to tell as well. But of course, this is something that you need a rough piece with or a stone that you're willing to part a little piece of to have it bubble away. Now I'm going to show you some other stones that you might get confused with rhodonite. First, we have a pink rosalite garnet in raw formation. So you can see this nice pink tone. It is often confused with rhodonite out in the wild. There's also a rhodolite garnet, which has a deeper pink tone. Both rosalite and rhodolite are confused for rhodonite because of their coloring. Now, rhodonite, as we said, can go from deep pink to a very pale pink as well. So you can see the confusion. This one here is rhodonite. So this is real rhodonite. So if you've guessed that's the one that was real, you are correct. The next one here does look like rhodonite without many inclusions. And there is a rhodonite that looks like this. But this particular bracelet is a pink wood jasper. It's harder, it has more of the concentric bands. If you look really deeply, it is not rhodonite. But if you look online, many, many vendors are selling this as rhodonite, and it is just not rhodonite. Now, here is a bubblegum pink version of pink opal. So you saw this kind of color in the Peruvian. Rhodonite, well, it has the same coloring as that, and they both do come from Peru, so they can be easily confused, but this is a pink opal. It usually doesn't have as many inclusions as rhodonite. 
And as we just learned, here is your rhodochrosite. So those are just a few examples of other pink stones that you might confuse your rhodonite with. We do have a more extensive list of stones that you can study on the real versus fake rhodonite page at Satin Crystals because you want to know what you're buying if you want to work with a specific energy or you just don't want to get ripped off and be buying something that is not worth it. The best way to buy your real gemstones is to have a vendor that you trust who is educating you, who doesn't want you to be left out in the dark picking fake stones and thinking that they are real. At Satin Crystals, we have a whole collection of real rhodonite jewelry and stones for you to shop from. We also have a free email list, so we send out crystal information every single week. Make sure you're on that. Thank you for being here, for spreading the word about real versus fake gemstones and spreading your positive energy out into our world.